Do you suffer from multiple app creator paralysis where you have 17 apps on your phone all to just build Instagram reels? And some days that's just so overwhelming that you just give up and you say you do it tomorrow? Well, no more. Social Templates is here to make your life a lot easier. A collection of templates specific for photographers optimized to get you the most organic reach using things like trending audio. Let's make a reel, shall we? Find a social template you like. They're listed by how many photos and videos they include. Then just add your videos and images to the post. Easy. Now you have more time to go stand in the ocean. I guess we gotta go get that shot. Oh, hello there. You've caught me in such a candid moment. I'm here today to talk to you about social templates. I've struggled for a long time to keep up with my social content. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to do reels really darn quick, really easy. And uh, with no apps, just with Instagram. I guess one app. Instagram is the app. And today, I'm going to test this against a reel that I made manually. And the struggle, obviously, with making reels manually is that you're maybe doing them in CapCut or Premiere Pro, and you're probably not using trending audio, and you're probably doing a lot more hard work than necessary. There's gotta be hundreds of these, right? Can you see how many posts somebody has? Yeah, 452. This is a huge library of templates that you can use right now. They're optimized for photographers, they're optimized for organic reach, and they're all listed by the number of photos and or videos that it wants you to include. So for this one here, one time-lapse video, 10 photos. You also don't have to fill them, so if you only have 10 photos and you're trying to fill this one here, that's totally fine. Do you wanna do that one? Okay, we're gonna do this one here. This is the reel that I've chosen. It loads up and you click the use template. That's right there. And all of a sudden you just get to add your media. How fast can I do this? Here you see I have three, I have four videos. Got some dog, got a capybara. And I'm going to do this video, this video with, I'm gonna do waterfall next, followed by horses. And I'm gonna pop over here into my recent images. And I'm going to go through all of these here. So uh, we're gonna do that one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And finally, 15. So as you can see, I'm a few short there. I think that's gonna be fine. And here we go, generating reel, done. Now I'm a social media superstar. And I'm gonna give this some time and we're gonna come back and I'm going to let you know how the organic reach of this reel went and uh, see you in a little bit, I guess. But first, my wife, Lindsay Coulter, social media superstar and makes a lot more reels than I do. I think that building reels is um, one of my least favorite parts of marketing photography services. I love taking photos. I love making photos for my clients. I wish I could just post those on the internet and have other people see them, but it's just not that simple, unfortunately. Um, I have tried so many different things. I have like nine different apps on my phone depending on what type of reel is trending. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing that built into the Instagram app, I can just hit use template and slide in the photos, some videos that I have, and it just auto populates a perfectly curated reel for me. Here we are back in Canada where it's snowing. That's the proof that it's snowing right there. And this reel in three days has received 8,000 views which I would rank on the higher end, so I'm a bit of a split use case. As you can see down here, I made this reel about this Sony flash, and uh, it got a lot of views because it's in the tech space. It's just a much broader audience than my wedding photography that I want to be seen by a local audience primarily and generate some actual wedding bookings rather than just views on the internet. So 8,000 views I'm very, very happy with. So the last wedding day I did, and this I posted a few weeks ago, is at 7,800, so the reel we created has already outperformed it, and this reel that we created in this video will continue to appreciate over the next maybe two, three weeks. Sometimes they, they're delayed a little bit, and three weeks from now, all of a sudden, it just starts getting massive traction. And those are some of the mysteries of social media. But overall, for the minimal effort that I put into creating this reel, I am very, very, very happy with the results, 
And not only that, they're so fast to create that I could easily do a large volume of these. Uh, my personal strategy will be to sit down and make a bunch of reels on one specific day and maybe not schedule them out, but just have them saved as my draft. So whenever I feel that it's, it's time to post something, I'll have a wedding photography specific reel ready to go. My brain works just a little bit more in batch processing like that. And that makes me a little bit happier. It also makes, it gives me a weird sense of accomplishment to go through and tap all the templates that I want to use and build those reels and to know that they're ready to go. It gives me some sort of calming feeling. I don't know if you feel that too. But social templates really makes my life a heck of a lot easier for creating reels. So if you're interested, there's a link down below. You get your first month for free. You give it a shot, see if it works for you. Uh, I'm fairly certain it's going to work for you. And I know a number of people have employees or at least kind of part-time co-op students that primarily just do social media for them. And I feel like this weirdly kind of replaces at least my need for somebody like that. So social templates, really easy product geared specifically for us as wedding and portrait photographers. And it makes it so much easier to share your photography as a reel than just uploading single images. And I know we want those single images to perform, but unfortunately in the current social media landscape, it's gotta be short form and probably vertical video content if you want it to do as well as possibly can, get in front of as many eyeballs as possible. And also one thing that I didn't even do in this reel is that if you're tagging a location of a local wedding venue, Venue, there is a pretty good chance that this reel is going to rank up top there for a long time and continue to pay off with getting those very specific eyeballs of people that are looking for that reception venue and getting them over onto your profile on Instagram. That's all for me today. Thanks for watching down below link for your first free month. See you again next time.